Welcome back to another ride. This video has some of the hardest scenarios I've come across on FSD V13.2.2, starting with this intersection. FSD is about to go on yellow and block the intersection for the tractor trailer coming from the right. Let's see how it gets out of this crazy New York City scenario. All right, so we are on yellow. Is this guy just blocking traffic? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> you say that. Oh, okay. getting that out of the way. Moving into the sidewalk. Right? Crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy shit. Uh, yeah. Is this guy gonna fit or what? We're just gonna sit here and hang out. Is he sleeping in this car? Oh no. Oh no. Somebody's so. backing up into him. Mm. That's that's not helpful to us either. Yeah. 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 This is definitely an interesting scenario. Oh, we're just pulling Very off special. <laughs> a little bit more. Okay, yeah, there's a truck in front of him that's mm. moving out of the way. Good, yeah, so we should go right after this truck. Yeah, what that was hell? wild. What the <laughs> hell is going on? <laughs> yeah, these are the moments, man. Um, these are the moments yes. that are like, <laughs> it's solved. Like, I even, uh, mm, thanks uh, to this guy, it's Getting yeah, chicken buddy. wings out of his car is uh is gonna be moving around. I'm sorry, you were saying? No, no, it's I'm so this situation was so impressed. <laughs> yeah, because yes. like it it would have on 12 off I would have been stuck. Yeah, I would have to take over. But uh but you see like I let it like play out yeah, unless yeah. there's like it's something important. crazy. Not not to to inter make intervention. Yeah. You must, yeah. if you want to see the system. And we're going so slow, well, that, you know, that's, you know, we're you going feel, like three miles You now. feel the cars looking around. Oh, I know. Them. Yeah, it's crazy. Cause you're like, is it going to do it? And then you're like, what would I do in this situation? And then you see the car do exactly what you would do. And you're like, this thing is like reading my mind. It's so good. If you solve this crazy situation, you can drive the normal streets out of the country so easy so uh, let me ask you this like how do you see the robo taxi network actually running like do you think they're gonna have like people that run out to get the cars like waymo do you think they're gonna yeah, they're just walking on green like how do you how do you see it happening um for the business model yeah what do we see? yeah like like uh how is the robo taxi network gonna run like are they gonna have like people remoting into the car are they going to have like runners that go out to the car if the car gets stuck um I like think, how do you think that that back end piece is going to work in in these crazy scenarios i think the same like like the chinese companies and remotes that they have uh, like the setup with the monitor and the joysticks yes, have, and have, uh, people outside they will take over and fix the situation Okay. I, have this, a... I think this is this is normal. You see it at the ad advertising for new jobs. I think mm -hmm. yeah, Tesla have some jobs for, where you can think that is so. I know in California now they've been driving. They've been like doing mock taxi driving with the person behind the wheel. I think they announced that in the previous earnings call that they had like for about a year they've had employees driving in California supervising the cars. Um, probably collecting oh, data. No, no, no. <laughs> yeah, it does take a little bit to get used to knowing that the car is not going to freak out. Uh, so uh, I'm actually of a different opinion. So I think they're going to use Dojo yeah. to uh, run the network. Because I think that it, it, you're just going to be able to upload like the last few minutes of the ride and dojo will come back with how to get out of the problem because it has so much more compute because no. you know why not i think if they'll have both they'll have humans and they'll have dojo and then eventually they'll just take humans out of it it does such a good job like creeping Mm. to uh to cars to people like and it'll start moving the moment like there's a clear path literally like the moment a pedestrian just crosses mm. past the car just starts going right away so let's see what 
Let's see how it does here. It does struggle with parking though. I have a video coming out where um, like parking at stores and stuff. Um, I went to a bunch of different places and just had it park itself and it still struggles. But that's like a coming soon feature. So I just keep testing things because uh, I've had a couple times, even on like 12.3, one time it parked for me at a, at a grocery store, I, like pulled up to the front and then it parked itself. Like I totally freaked out in that video because I was like, oh my God, this is like, because sometimes even before it's like fully announced, you can see like glimpses of stuff that's coming that just sneaks in. All right, looks like we're stuck a little bit. Oh, no, we're moving. Yeah, that's definitely like a longer pause than, than normal. And it's really good in tight spaces. Like I've had situations where I have like two trucks just like riding next to me. Which hardware, the car? You have, is this hardware for? This hardware for, yeah. Oh, this okay. is a 2004, like I got this, in uh in july okay yeah and this is my first tesla oh i've been a tesla fan for a long time okay. but uh mm -hmm. i finally like i drive my cars till the wheels fall off so i had a uh jeep grand cherokee uh, it's parking exactly where it says no parking <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't uh, care. Well, that's okay all right perfect oh, well, let's go to the let's let's add another point here and see if we can make it a little bit more interesting yeah I just want us to uh, zigzag around and uh, all right we are back on oh, interesting though. yeah so now it has to pull out we do have a, this uh, SUV to the left of us we got our blinker on and we're creeping right in excellent well done. And your YouTube videos are just for fun, or? Uh, well, I mean, you know, they, they help me buy more Tesla shares. Uh, okay. Okay. <laughs> you know, uh, I just, uh, I recently got to a thousand subscribers, so I just got monetized, which, uh -huh. you know, like for every thousand views, they pay you like a couple dollars, it's like five to ten dollars. Um, so, you know, it's not huge money, but every Tesla share eventually will be 10,000, I believe. Like oh, in 2035, oh, oh, oh. when the bots come out. Mm. So, you know, for every $400 one I pick up now, can be, good you know, can, can be a $10,000 one in the future. So I just keep getting mm. more. As a, as a trader, um, I have long term mm -hmm. and, a, and a trading. Okay. Uh, depot. Not only hold, hold, hold. Yeah. I, I tried my. Uh, trading hat on during COVID and uh, it was not very successful. Yeah. <laughs> so I just went back to what I know. You know. I do a lot of research on Tesla. You know, I try to see everything. But, and thanks to the main, crossing. But you don't, don't forget that the main business today is selling cars. The other things at is future. Like past that. It's no, future. It's, not future. I mean, it's here. Look at it. We're driving around. Yeah, I, I, we, we've been at this one. We've made three stops so far. So that's three rides that were flawless with some crazy stuff in them, right? Like, I know people keep saying, like, oh, it's the future, but it's here. Like, they've solved A to B driving. Now they're just working on all the little, like, edge stuff. The, the main problem is the most people don't know fsd the most people don't know how far we are for for real that's a good thing that's why we can yeah, buy it at the yeah, price that we can yeah, buy it. <laughs> but but in germany it's a very political situation uh -huh. um you you think the media will keep the people stupid we have a big car industry we have volkswagen with bmw we have mercedes but but they <clears throat> <laughs> losing market share in in China, that is the biggest market mm -hmm. for them, and and so Tesla is bad. Tesla or oh, everything slothing years ago. Uh, in mask, he only told stories. He don't deliver. Yeah. But if you see SpaceX or something else, yeah, he have vision and he yeah. He just keeps the, working at it. You yeah. get the results. Yeah. You have the best engineers on the planet. Yeah. And somehow he gets them to do miracles, honestly. Like, 
self-driving cars weren't even a thing, like a thought 10 years ago. And then all of a sudden he was like, you know what, we gotta make these things drive ourselves. And you put the right people together to make that happen. And like how many iterations have they done? I mean, this is just like V12, V13 is a recent discovery. So it's not like, you know, before they were like hard coding everything. The most important thing for cars in 2024, 2025 is software. Yeah. Software, software, software. And they most don't understand it. If you if you have German cars and you go into into the cars, this it's terrible. Oh yeah. Well, well, so I'll give you like a like a basic example. So my mom was looking for a new car. I kept telling her like, get a Tesla, get a Tesla, get a Tesla. She was like, I will never get an electric car. I said, okay, fine, that's fine. She's like, what am I gonna charge it? What am I gonna do? You know, cause she's like of that mindset. So we went and I was like, why don't we just go test drive one? You know, just to see if you like it. So we went and we test drove a Tesla. Uh, we would think we'd test drove a Model Y, uh, like dual motor like this one. And, um, and then we went and test drove a Honda Pilot, which was, oh no, I'm sorry, Honda CRV, which is kind of like around the same price range. And we got into the car and she goes, why does this car look like a tractor? You know, it's got like all the buttons, all the, cause I'm like, I'm like, mom, you drove in the future and now you're sitting in the past. That's the difference. Mm -hmm. And uh, she actually ended up buying a Model Y. She didn't get the FSD though, even though I was trying to convince her to get it, but, but she may get it. If you're a little um, bit older, uh, I think it's necessary that you bought the Tesla with those of driving. If you yeah. are going older, the eyes will be better uh, bad and you cannot see like a yeah. young Yeah, uh, I have a neighbor I have a neighbor who uh, his girlfriend bought a Model Y around the same time as me because I told her about it. And uh, he's having problems with this vision. And he said like, once they solve it, he will buy a Tesla because yeah. it'd be so much easier for him with, uh, you know, with his eyesight. My daughter is 18 years old and I bought her for her birthday a Model 3 Performance mm -hmm. okay. with FSD. Okay. So, uh, so for me, in Germany, if you bought a, a car with FSD, the FSD is zero worth, zero. Right. Yeah. Right. <laughs> and if you feel this, you, you say, Normally, you must bought every Tesla with FSD <laughs> and wait one year or half a year. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah, no, no I, I, I agree with you. And the thing is, like, but the thing is, like, what you bought, like, there's just gonna be an update, and all of a sudden, that's, it will just work. Yeah, this guy just so popped crazy. out, and the car slowed down for him and just proceeded. And we weren't like jarred around or anything. It wasn't like all of a sudden it slammed its brakes and your face is like hitting the steering wheel or anything. It's just. Very comfortable and smooth. When you think we, we are ready to real FSD end of this year? So they, they said end of 2025. I mean, experiencing this, I believe it. Because I think that they're just working out the edge cases. So like yeah. arriving, picking people up, working out all the details. And I think they're starting in California, mm. you know, and Texas is warmer climates. You don't have to worry about Yeah. You know, cleaning the car as much from the outside and all that. Because here, like, I had to stop at the gas station before I pulled into the tunnel, clean the windshield because it was, like, covered in salt for me driving over here, you know? I so, don't understand why they have uh, water pumps also to to clean the camera. camera. Yeah, This I, I don't understand. I, know, I, yeah. think, I mean... But if you're in, in bad weather condition, in Germany, you're always raining. Yeah. Uh, and in, in, in California, I think there's not so much rain, but... If we have snow, we have rain, we have uh, fog, and I think yeah, no, same here. Yeah, same here. Like in New Jersey, New York, it's the same same scenario. You know, like every every morning when I drive, I have to clean the rear camera from the salt. Yeah. You know, manually, because there's no other way. Otherwise, I won't be able to park. And um, do you check if uh, which camera cameras on the on the car are most time in use? If you Put something up. Uh, 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 no, I've never checked that which cameras are in use. I feel like it always sees in all directions. Like the whole thing is on all the time. Oh, maybe it'll parallel park us. Mm -hmm. uh, just enough to get dropped off. Yeah. It's gonna, it's gonna and uh, yeah, enough to get dropped off. Think about if you have a robot taxi service. I think you will be scanning your face and. 
if you driving to your if you want to pick up you will scan your face <laughs> that's yeah. my opinion 